Hello, welcome to Living Life. Uh, thank you for allowing me to uh, take some time to uh, share the word together with you. And may the Lord bless our time together as we take time to reflect and meditate and so that we could live according to His word together. And do you know some unsung heroes or very important, unimportant people in the Bible in many, many places? In the Bible, we could very easily think of some people that were not considered so important, but yet important. Oh, I'm thinking of uh, Miriam Moses, a mother and a big sister that uh, kept uh, Moses uh, afloat and then alive in the river of Nile. I'm, I'm thinking of a, a little a young maid, maiden, and that told uh, Naaman uh, about the God, uh, true God of Israel. And then thinking of a nephew Paul uh, that uh, told the government officials about a, a trap that there are people uh, that were there to try to kill him. And on and on and on it goes. Uh, they do not come across as the major uh, heroes of the Bible, but then nevertheless, they play very important roles. Well, do you know someone's song heroes at your church and uh, doing different ministry? Not just the pastors who get up in front of people and preach and do a public ministry, but people that spend time uh, tirelessly interceding, caring for people, serving. And these are people that are uh, so important and needed in God's kingdom. Are you an unsung hero? Are you serving the Lord in places where sometimes you don't get the recognition and people do not even notice? Well, today's passage is an important encouragement for you and me and so that we can encourage others to continue to be faithful. Jeremiah chapter 45, verses 1 through 5. When Baruch, son of Neriah, wrote on a scroll the words Jeremiah the prophet dictated in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, Jeremiah said this to Baruch, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says to you, Baruch. You said, Woe to me! The Lord has added sorrow to my pain. I am worn out with groaning and find no rest. But the Lord has told me to say to you, this is what the Lord says. I will overthrow what I have built and uproot what I have planted throughout the earth. Should you then seek great things for yourself, do not seek them. For I will bring disaster on all people, declares the Lord. But wherever you go, I will let you escape with your life. Today's passage, it's the word of God that came to Jeremiah and directed to Baruch. Baruch, you probably know, is Jeremiah's secretary, scribe, word processor. And, uh, and then as uh, Jeremiah is dictating, he wrote down God's word. But here we see in verse 3, uh, he said, Woe is unto me, the Lord has added sorrow to my pain. I'm worn out with groaning and find no rest. He is at this point where uh, he feels not only frustrated, and then, and then he feels that he is experiencing uh, added pain and suffering. And that is not relieved. And then he is at a place where he's groaning and then feeling burned out and then and feeling that there is no rest. And then he uh, is perhaps feeling self-pity or, and then here, definitely feeling disillusion. What's going on? We don't know for sure. But then Baruch was somebody that was assisting Jeremiah all throughout. And then as Jeremiah was doing ministry, perhaps he started and joining in and noting, uh, noticing that Jeremiah is truly a prophet of God, uh, delivering the message of God. But then 
as Jeremiah was continuing to carry out the ministry for a long time. The message of judgment and message of rebuke and a lot of those things as he was writing, accompanying, and just uh, supporting together, uh, maybe took a toll. Or perhaps uh, he thought, oh, uh, serving, assisting the servant of God would bring so much benefits and it will help me in many, many ways. Or perhaps there was some thinking that was going on. But whatever the case is, he is now very discouraged, disillusioned. And then at a point of perhaps how we sometimes say it, at a point of burnout. What is God's word? to Baruch today. Well, verse 4, he says, Say this to him. This is the, what the Lord says. I will overthrow what I have built and uproot what I have planted and throughout the land. And that's what God says. Basically, and God is saying, I see you. I know your situation. And then I know and I hear your cries. And I notice what's going on. And then God says, I will nevertheless carry out my plan and my purpose in the midst of a lot that's going on and which is affecting you. And that's what God is saying. The purpose of God's judgment that's coming, and it's not something that will uh, be, you know, the evaded in any way, but it will come forth. And then God noticed that it's wearing him down. But then he goes on and says this. Should you then seek great things for yourself? Seek them not. Here. And God not only just identify with him, but here God rebukes and corrects him. And he probably, Baruch probably did not share with a lot of people or even to Jeremiah and others. But in his mind, he was thinking, man, now why is its ministry all about suffering? Where is the joy? Or maybe perhaps he thought, oh, this will lead me into uh, other opportunity, other things. Or, hey, what about all the blessings that, that was uh, promised in the, in the scripture? Or it could have been other things. But then God sees that and God is rebuking, correcting. Baruch, do not seek your own goal and your ambition, but seek him, seek my kingdom, and then God rebukes him. But that's not all. And then God also says, I will, in the midst of disaster that's going to come, wherever you go, I will let you escape. I will rescue you. I will protect you even in the midst of many, many things that's going to come. Well, uh, those are some encouraging words uh, today that God is giving to you. First, that God knows you. Yes, in the midst of a lot that's going on, God notice what's happening and what you are doing. But then rebuke, check your hearts, come back to the scripture not according to your understanding of what success is, but being faithful with what God has called you. And then reminder that God is with you in the midst of calamity, disaster that's coming. If you are walking with God, then God will protect you, rescue you, and then God will use you to fulfill the purpose that God has placed upon your life. I believe Baruch was encouraged, renewed to run his race. You may be an unsung hero in the midst of very challenging, discouraging time, especially as COVID-19 
pandemic continues, especially when it's becoming weary and challenging to serve the Lord. But then I hope that Lord will remind you that Lord will also encourage you, but also help you to have your eyes focused on Him. Even in the midst of difficult challenges, remember to come to the cross where you will meet again God, who came and took our place and then uh, uh, paid for all, but also entered into our suffering. And because of that, that we may be able to experience his comfort. And also we may be able to extend his comfort to others. May you be renewed in courage today so that you will run your race until the end. Lord Jesus, we thank you for many, many, many people in my life that have been an encouragement, a servant that people did not notice. But Lord, we pray that you will renew us, all of us, to continue to be faithful and serve you and serve your people till the end, until we hear from you, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with little and turn into the master's happiness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.